This is Data Specialist Sanders of the Ongoing Data Redundancy Project. SCP-200, Object Classes Euclid, Special Containment Procedures. SCP-200 requires a temperate, secure environment large enough to house the 1.68 by 2 meter bed frame it is affixed to. The room should be equipped with a large viewing window such that SCP-200 may be observed with minimal disturbance. In fact, when not being directly tested, SCP-200 should be left undisturbed. Particular care should be taken when collecting samples to avoid compromising the delicate outer shell of SCP-200. An automated mister should be set up to apply a fine mist to SCP-200 once a day. If SCP-200 appears to be drying out, an additional mist can be applied, but care should be taken not to allow it to become too moist. Due to the uncertain nature of SCP-200, the door to its containment area should be kept locked at all times, and direct interaction is restricted to clearance level 2 staff as a precaution. Description: SCP-200 is contained within a chrysalis measuring 172.4 cm in length from stem to tip, attached to a standard queen-size bed frame and mattress. The chrysalis is a mottled brown in color, and analysis shows it to consist of several layers of silk woven in such a way as to be coarse to the touch. The silk layers appear to be held together by data expunged. SCP-200 itself was last seen as a 13-year-old Caucasian male measured at 152 centimeters in height and weighing 168.73 kilograms. It retreated into its chrysalis on date redacted, and researchers have been unable to explain how the child produced the silk to construct its encasement. Ultrasound tests have been unable to detect any solids within the chrysalis. However, fluid samples extracted from within reveal human DNA matching that of the child in question. It appears that the child has data expunged. Samples of the material used to bind the chrysalis are also a DNA match for SCP-200. SCP-200 lies dormant a majority of the time, although it may be observed twitching occasionally, particularly if it is startled by a sudden contact or a loud noise. However, in its current state, it poses no threat. Notes. SCP-200 was retrieved from Redacted United States on Redacted approximately 28 hours after Chrysalis presented. According to medical records, SCP-200 followed a normal pattern of human development until age 12. At this point, the child began to display a voracious appetite and rapidly gained weight over the course of the following year. A local pediatrician was unable to identify a cause for the abrupt change in metabolism. The child's mother, concerned about his weight gain, attempted to restrict his diet. SCP-200 escaped into the surrounding woods. When authorities located the boy 72 hours later, he had doubled his weight on a diet of data expunged. After being returned home, SCP-200 developed its chrysalis. Following retrieval, Class A amnestics were administered to the child's mother, the doctor, and local authorities. Local community was led to believe that data expunged to prevent concern about the boy's whereabouts and well-being. Addendum 200-1. According to the most recent testing, SCP-200's DNA has been displaying a number of mutations. While ultrasound tests still reveal no solids, Dr. Redacted hypothesizes that the child may be developing into data expunged. This hypothesis remains controversial and requires further testing and observation. In light of these developments, request to reclassify SCP-200 under Euclid has been approved, and 24-7 observation shifts are being implemented to watch for SCP-200's emergence.